Hello there guys, my name is Coach Shadong, still born, bought, built for theme park news and welcome to a Coaster Child review from the Troublesome Trucks Runaway Coaster at Drayton Manor. Now before we get started, I've got three shout outs for you guys. Big shout outs go to Thorax Changeling, uh, make sure you go and subscribe to his channel, he's got some teaser videos on there so make sure you go check him out. Uh, shout out to Paul Sivas, I think that's how it's pronounced, I'm not too sure. And also a big shout out to Theme Park Unlimited, they're an up and coming new channel, uh, they've got some Roller Coaster Tycoon classic series up, uh, they need some name suggestions for things like a wing coaster, the park, the hotel. They need loads of new name suggestions uh, for rides, so please get involved with that series. It would mean a lot to them. Uh, so yeah, if you want you or your channel shouted out here on Coast Show YouTube channel, then please comment down below. Keep getting your questions in for the Q&A. We've only got two more days until the deadline now. Uh, so make sure you get your questions in now because of course in two days the deadline will pass and the Q&A will be filmed. Now, this Coast Show review is all about the Troublesome Trucks Runaway Coaster. This is in Thomas Land area of Drayton Manor which is the re-theme of Robinson's Land. Uh, that was home to like some tacky old rides and things like that. They replaced all that, they brought in this children's area. It was the children's area that really kicked off uh, the children's area theme, of course, inspired the likes of Nickelodeon Land at Blackpool Pleasure Beach, Peppa Pig World at Poulton's Park, CBB's Land at Alton Towers, um, you know, other themed areas, Lost Kingdom and Tornado Springs at Poulton's Park, you know, all these family and children's areas wouldn't have really existed to the level of detail that they are if it wasn't for the likes of uh, Thomas Land at Drayton Manor. And one of the signature attractions in that area is of course the Troublesome Trucks Runaway Coaster. So before we get started by talking about my thoughts on the overall experience, let's go through the stats for the ride. So for those of you who need a reminder of uh, some of the stats and the facts about this ride, uh, it's manufactured by Gersla, it's a custom made junior coaster, it's a custom layout. It first opened on the 15th of March 2008, the opening day of Thomas Land. Um, it has a length of 754.6 feet, it's, uh, it's got a single train with five cars per train and riders are across uh, in two rows, two people across in two rows for a total of 20 riders. It's got a booster wheel lift hill as well. Now Gerslauer are renowned for their junior coasters, there are, uh, well not too renowned as other manufacturers but they are produced some other good junior coasters, they've got four out there. Uh, the other ones, of course, Drakenjad at Legoland Deutschland, Coastosaurus at Legoland California, and of course, over in Dubai recently, of course, as recent as 2017 with the Smurf, Smurf, Smurf Village Express uh, uh, at the Motion Gate Park as part of the Dubai Parks and Resorts, which is a future trip, in my opinion. Let's get out there. Um, but doing one of these Gerslau Junior Coasters has been a great experience. I think it's a good family coaster uh, layout, it's a good um, overall experience, it's a good journey around the landscaping of the Thomas Land area, it's a great um, experience just for the visionary and just for the, the atmosphere rather than just the ride experience. So of course the queue line, I'd say it's very well themed around the outside, I'd like all, I like all the Thomas Land landscaping surrounding the ride and the queue line experience. Um, but in terms of actual theming on riding in the queue line, there's not much to stand out about. But it's just the whole theming of the Thomas Land area that incorporates the coaster inside uh, the area. Uh, so the actual ride experience is actually pretty good. For a family coaster, it's pretty good. I wouldn't say it's the best family coaster I've done, but it's definitely up there as a decent experience. Uh, now the colour scheme of the ride, now it does have white track and sort of I guess brownish supports uh, and the train is sort of made to look like I haven't want to watch Thomas since I was a little kid so I've got no idea about the character names apart from Thomas obviously and Percy and things like that so I can't remember some of the other characters off the top of my head but there is like a black and grey with some white detail in there in terms of character for the train carriage colours and, and the whole look and the design of the train carriage uh, like I said again I can't remember the, the, the name because I'm sure it, it does look like an actual character, so I'm sure it is a character, but I can't remember the name of it. But it's like, a, I guess like a coal carrying truck, um, I guess they can call it. 
uh, hence the name Troublesome Trucks Runaway Coaster. So I guess it's like a runaway coal carriage, um, or made to look like a cartoon coal carriage. Um, and it sort of takes you on this journey around, like the like take you on this journey through Sodor, which is of course the fictional town that it's set in, uh, the show. Um, and I like how it incorporates the storyline into the experience. So I like how it twists and turns and does all the, the helixes and the S-bends, etc. And it sort of gives you the feeling like you're on a runaway carriage, you're twisting and turning out of Sodor, in and out of Sodor, uh, and you're sort of twisting in and out. Uh, and experience what it's like to be on a runaway coal carriage. Uh, so it's very good experience. It's good how they incorporated the storyline into the ride. Maybe not physically and maybe not as plain to see, but might be personally looking deeper into the ride. I like how the turns are sort of metaphorical, as sort of like a runaway carriage chasing out of Sodor. So I look deeper into it. And I look, and t to be fair, that's what I'm like with coasters. I like looking at different parts of the ride like inversions or turns and they might have a metaphorical meaning it's like with Nemesis for example uh, things like the the zero G roll and the vertical loop and the corkscrews I think of them personally as a deeper meaning because it feels like uh, you're being caught by the Nemesis creature and you're being thrown up into the air ready to be eaten alive when you've surrendered yourself to the Nemesis Beast. So I look very deeper into these coasts. I look specifically at the elements and I think they must have some kind of deeper meaning to them and that's the reason why this element is in the ride. So that's what I kind of got with the Troublesome Trucks coasters. So uh, like I said in the past with these new reviews, I'm not going to give them a rating because it's all about enjoying the experience rather than rating it. But I do say it is a decent family coaster. So thank you very much for watching this Coast Child review of the Troublesome Trucks Runaway Coaster at Drayton Manor Theme Park in Danworth. Drayton Manor, of course, they haven't really been through the best of it in recent times, have they? This season has not been the best of starts for them, has it, to be fair? The flooding and now the virus pandemic is keeping them closed. You know, the, fl the flooding was bad enough, but the virus as well, keeping all the theme parks closed, including Drayton Manor. Not exactly been the best time for Drayton Manor, but... I really hope Dre and Manor can invest in some brand new attractions very, very soon. So thank you very much for watching this Coast Child Review. Please like, comment, subscribe, and click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. Please share with your friends, family, and on social media. And make sure you get your questions in, your thoughts and opinions. Get your questions in using the hashtag question before or after your question. Two days until the deadline passes. And then the Q&A video will be recorded. And it will be unleashed just a couple of days after that deadline has passed. My name is Coach Jai YouTube channel. Keep living the coast life. Let's stay indoors. Let's protect the NHS. Let's save lives. Because if you guys stay indoors, then we'll be out here soon and we'll be able to get back to them theme parks and enjoy ourselves. So you just stick to the rules and you'll be happy in the long term sooner rather than later. So thank you very much. Keep living the coast life. And I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have an awesome day.